everyone, it's Jean from the NKL Studio. I have here a flip through of my fin finished latest journal and the title on it is Natural History of Shakespeare. What I did was I did a little research and uh, found out what different plants and flora are mentioned in different plays of Shakespeare and I've identified them uh, throughout this uh, journal. And so here on the cover is uh, one of his quotes there and it is uh, a vintage book that I've altered so it's old it's worn I love this green color on here and the uh, it measures uh, this measures seven and a half by four and a half I believe but you can see that I have done it so the papers all kind of uh, stick out around the edges as if somebody were uh, collecting things and stuff stuffing them inside this book like and so that measures eight by five and a half and we come to the first page and so I've gotten digitals of the different plants and I've identified uh, what they are and what play they're from and that's kind of what I've done throughout here and uh, I've added little bits and pieces of digital Ephemera so that you can have plenty of places to write. And I've gone through this is a view, this is a painting of Ophelia, and I forgot who the artist is. This is quite quite well known. And inside here is the uh, lily, and I tucked in a little piece of lavender that you can uh, put around. So most a lot of this ephemera is not glued down, like this is not glued down. It, you can move it and glue it and do whatever you would like to do with it. Inside the envelope is a little Edith Holden uh, image of Holly from As You Like It. And we'll just keep on going through here. And here's uh, some tracing paper with this beautiful print on it with a sort of a Renaissance or uh, Middle Ages image. This is from a family's garden, that particular digital kit. This is from a vintage sketching book with daffodils. This is a vintage envelope, I believe 1903 there is on the front. It has uh, some coffee uh, tea stain paper inside for you to write on. And it just has the name of the person and the city and state. My oh my, <laughs> how things have changed, right? <laughs> and then over here, I've got a couple of cabinet cards of um, theatrical actors dressed up. Uh, this is representing Puck. 1891, I believe, and these are these are digital uh, copies that I've made. And so we have the acorn from Midsummer's Night Dream, and uh, the elephant dance. I thought was a really nice music sheet to put with that. And that's a vintage uh, music sheet and middle signature is the little owl. I like to put that in my uh, journals when I can. And over here, and these most of this ephemera, uh, digital uh, printed ephemera is from uh, either ephemera's garden or it's from the graphics fairy like this is from the graphics fairy here so we'll just uh, stick these back in here is some rosemary clipped in there with a pear tree and all's well that ends well marigolds so each flower uh, is mentioned more than in one in more than one play I just chose one for no reason, uh, just for variety, I guess. And this is uh, an English word that I cannot pronounce, but it means to wander longingly through the uh, forest in search of mystery, which I thought went with Midsummer's Night Dream a little bit. Here's some more ephemera here. Some parchment paper. The middle signature is actually a folio. And inside here we have two uh, notebooks that slip out and there's papers here uh, for more writing and journaling and so that's just uh, ties together there's some parchment paper tracing paper again uh, a vintage postcard that i've got uh, pansies there from hamlet daisies hawthorn bush Another vintage envelope, 1899 here, and I just have a little digital coffee stained uh, paper in there. 
uh, the cherry tree poppies I'm going to say they're poppies don't know might be wrong on that but I think that's okay and this is a vintage postcard a little message on the back you might want to read that I haven't read it but you know might be kind of fun and coffee stained paper here is a leaf in the middle of um, the signature another one of those cabinet cards with Juliet and uh, the rose of course that's real prominent in that story line uh, the apple tree from Taming of the Shrew whoops this has got there you go and here's another um, another photograph of another Juliet I just thought was so pretty I wanted to include that and violets from the Twelfth Night and the yew tree King Richard II with a a digital paper there for writing and uh, more ephemera and margarine from King Lear. It's it's very interesting. Uh, a willow tree from Othello. I think there's over 160 different types of uh, flora that he mentions, and I don't know how many times he mentions them. It's, it's quite more than I really expected. And then I put back here a whole bunch of little. Uh, little pieces of uh, flowers and herbs and, and whatever for you to just kind of like maybe decorate your journal with. Uh, a couple little tiny uh, labels here, a little butterfly, and uh, that's there. And in the very back I have the uh, seed packet, that's sort of the shaker card, kind of fun. And I've got lavender and it opens up and inside is a journaling card. I thought this was really pretty, this uh, renaissance scene type of thing and so that gets tucked in there and then the, here is a bookmark uh, some card stocks or actually a chipboard so that you can mark your place and so that is the little journal it's pretty chunky uh, but it's, it works pretty good it stays closed pretty well the uh, the spine is a hollow back spine so that the pages do lay down a little flatter uh, and easier, I believe, to write on. And uh, so that's that. Thank you so much for looking. This will be in my Etsy shop. And I hope that this um, was a fun idea, fun project. Um, very interesting. And uh, it'll be, it is a very unique journal. <laughs> I don't think you'll ever find another one like this. So thank you so much for viewing. And next time we'll be on our second project. Talk to you later. Bye.